All right, you're still paying attention? Step two. So, step two, it's about the technical problem solving, math, science, nerd stuff, thing you want to talk about. The, uh, oh, the, uh, I love biology. I learned this whole book. I memorized the whole thing because I just love it so much. Now, we've all been there, and I know everyone has those moments in science where you're like, you know, F, this is really cool. Um, and you kind of want to convey that interest because, trust me, uh, in the first couple of years, every medical student I've spoken to, Deakin, Notre Dame, Monash, Melbourne, wherever it is, you're gonna have times where it being cool is the only thing that's gonna keep you going. Um, whether it's doing maybe endocrine and metabolism and you're on the 19th damn enzyme that you're memorizing because it affects one in a million condition and if you're in a hospital, there's a chance that a patient could have it and then you're gonna therefore know it. It's completely impractical, but in the first few years, they just kind of expect you to know all this nebulous stuff. And if you wanna do well on exams, which everyone does because you're type A and you wanna do medicine, then you're gonna be, <clears throat> you're gonna be in a situation where you're, you're just burnt out really. Um, there's no other way to put it. So you want to talk about why you love science, why you want to do medical studies, what are the things in your life that have led you to this? If you're a music or an art student, why have you decided to do medicine now? Um, and what are the kind of seeds that you've always had in your mind that made you want to do it? So for me, it's kind of like a natural cohesive flow because I had that anatomy book and then um, I was always good at math, so the story that I would use for this part is, so, so I had that anatomy book and my parents were always pushing me in lots of different directions. My dad's a really hands-on person. He loves, um, like just building stuff, doing stuff with his hands. He always takes on projects like fixing engines or anything that's mechanical he's great at. And my mum is, um, I'd say like more of a kind of creative person. She wanted to be a journalist. She writes really well. She's really articulate. So I think that I, I kind of had like this spectrum of choices to make because I really liked both. And all through my life, even till now, I still really love writing um, and some creative pursuits. But when I was sitting in classroom in like maybe like a year six maths competition, there was just like this insane competitive instinct with me that I just wanted to beat everyone in the room to finishing the maths test. It was probably like the least cool thing I could do at the time. But to me, that was something worth winning. And that kind of fierce intent has never changed. I still get something, it's kind of wrong. Like I just get so, so much satisfaction out of finishing something before someone else. And that means that I'm gonna work harder and study harder than most people would just so I can get that feeling again. Um, you know, like kind of like the star athlete, like Kobe Bryant, he always shooting jump shots. I'm always doing my times tables. That's kind of the same thing. I really, really loved maths. That's why I went all the way into my undergraduate studies, did maths all the way. But I had this experience where I walked through a corridor, saw all these people kind of losing their minds in their offices on their own. And I realized that it's probably not what I wanted to do for my life. But I wanted to do something where I had the opportunity to solve problems. And not only would I get the satisfaction of having solved a problem, but the person whose problem who, of whom I was solving, it would mean so much to. Um, and so that's what I would say on that first day. And I can tell you that today, four years down, heading into being just a junior doctor, I still get that satisfaction out of solving problems. I still get the satisfaction out of teaching people to solve the problems. And I still get the satisfaction when people feel good because of anything that you've done. No matter how small, no matter how big, it always feels good. So that's step two. The technical aspects, how that links into why you want to do medicine, medical sciences. All right.